Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we're gonna be checking and fixing broken spark plug wire. So, if you have older model car with spark plug wire, this video for you. Bad or broken spark plug wire will cause the engine shake and misfire. And you can simply check it without using any tool to see which one is the bad wire. Just pull each wire at a time. Any wire doesn't affect the engine, that's the bad one. Cylinder number 4 is the bad one. We can see that it's not affecting the engine when I pull it out. We're gonna turn the engine off for removing spark plug wire so we don't get electrical shock. So be careful not to touch this wire when the engine is running. If you ever pull the wire and it comes out like that. Spark plug wire should be pulled from rubber boot, not the wire itself. We're gonna need a pair of needle pliers to take the other end of the spark plug wire. For fixing spark plug wire, we just need to insert this wire here, which I will show you in a minute. For checking spark plug wire and the rubber boot, look for any crack or exposed wire. We can also check the wire for any electrical leak at night. If you see spark like that, you need to replace the wire or fix it in my case. For fixing, all we need to do, open this again and take the remaining piece out. I like to use this technique for putting the rubber boots on the wire without damaging it. Next clean the wire to expose the core like that and then put the metal end on the wire and clamp it with a pair of pliers. You can always check the connection by pulling the end and the wire before putting the rubber boots back. Spark plug wire can be checked with ohm meter. Put the ohm meter on 200 ohm and it should read about 500 to 800 ohms per feet. This one reads 640 amps which is acceptable for a wire this length. Alright, we're gonna put the spark plug wire back and start the engine. If you had broken spark plug wire, here's how to fix it. But remember to check the ohms first. If it was more than 800 ohms per feet, it's better to replace it than fixing it. And now, the engine back to normal idling. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.